Let's argue. Hello and welcome to Extreme Gameplays where I play games slashly. Today, we have another Let's Argue video where I go through community hot takes and give my opinion on them. And you guys feel free to leave your opinion on any hot take here and make sure to keep it peaceful in the comments. And now, let's head right into it. Coming up first, our first hot take by Mr. Incognito saying God of War Ascension is the best in the series. Now, I fully disagree with this take and please guys, this is coming from a guy who adores God of War Ascension and plays it three to four times a week. I can see where he's coming from, the combat in that game is second to God of War 3. God of War 3 knocks every game with its combat, but as a close second, we do have God of War Ascension with its wide variety of stuff you can do in combat. The puzzles are also fun, you gotta give it that, I mean, you know, the graphics and how pretty they are, I mean, imagine God of War Ascension remastered to the PS4 and PS5. But the story... Uh, and the pacing, I I swear I still don't know what part of the game takes place before whichever part. I always forget. I go and watch a chronological cutscene video every time I forget. Because the pacing is just that bad. And then you have some questionable rooms. Some manageable and some requiring your sanity. The bosses, some of them, are fun. But other than that, it can't rival God of War 2 and 3. Or even God of War 4 for me, of course. God of War 4 is my third favorite, right after 2 and 3. It's just my opinion, bro. I don't know. Next hot take by Noah Peruhinki. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Hot take. Rage of Sparta is weak. I'm assuming he's talking about the God of War 4 Rage of Sparta in which I do have to agree. Yes, it is a little weak. On the hardest difficulty, it's mostly going to be used to get yourself out of dangerous situations. You don't do that much crazy damage, but hey, for me, that's fine. I don't want to kill everyone with like two punches, but at the same time, I don't know, just have attacks other than throwing boulders. Do damage, just a little tweak. But yeah, I do have to agree, the rage is kind of weak. Anyways, our next hot take by Hamza Olympus saying God of War 4 soundtracks are mostly forgettable and bad with few exceptions. Oh boy, you're gonna be fighting a lot in the comments. Okay, so in my opinion, I don't completely agree here, but at the same time, I see what you're getting at. I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, we have cool tracks like Baldur and the Valkyrie Queen and the main theme. Come on, that's not forgettable. But I guess you're kind of comparing them to the old themes in which... Yes, they can't touch those. Music in the old games is unbeatable. Every game you had masterpieces after masterpieces of music. It felt like you were buying this music album that came with a game. Like, you know, you have a bonus and it's this game. Especially God of War 2 and 3. And it's simply easy as that. So I don't think they're forgettable, but when you compare them to the old ones, then sure, yeah. But if you're not comparing them, I don't know, man. I don't know how to feel about them. Okay, fuck it. I like them so much. They're not forgettable. They're, they're all great. I mean, have you heard the Blades OST? Come on. I, I started overthinking back there, but come on. They're not forgettable. They're, they're amazing. Next hot take by Alexco Games or Alexo Games, I don't know. And he is saying God of War 3 is superior to God of War 2, but the voice acting in God of War 3 is way worse than God of War 2. In God of War 2, the voice acting is perfect. So much rage and madness in his voice. Okay, so if you're talking in general, then I agree. There are some bad instances in God of War 3 where Pandora sounds like she's reading a book for the first time in her life. I've seen many terrible things. I'm not afraid. Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. But if you're talking just Kratos and the rage in his voice, then I'm gonna have to disagree here, bro. Both of the game's voice acting is amazing. This awesome conversation between Kratos and Theseus is amazing in God of War 2. And you are the last one I would expect to become a servant of the fates. I serve and protect. The time of Zeus is coming to an end. And this argument between Kratos and Hercules is nothing short of magnificent. The air on Olympus affects your thinking. Zeus has no fans. Or myself. You aspire to be an Olympian, yet there reigns in you. So I don't know, I can agree on general, but for Kratos, no. I, I can even go as far as to say God of War 3 Kratos is better at voice acting. I mean, look at this argument between him and Zeus. Will prove to be your greatest mistake. This has nothing to do with her. It has everything to do with her. Put her down! 
However, our next hot take by Arbing Goga. The platforming in the old games was either boring as fuck or straight up infuriating. I'm looking at you, God of War 1. Listen, if you're only talking about God of War 1, then I agree. The platforming is meant to torture humans for some reason. But anything after God of War 1 was good. It was all fun and made in a fair strategic way and not in a way that would make you pull your hair out. So, yeah. Next by Glap. And he's saying all God of War games are perfect in every way possible. And I'm gonna have to disagree here because because perfect is a little too perfect if you catch my meaning no game is perfect my favorite god of war and game of all time which is god of war 3 has its flaws matter of fact i can give out some flaws in every god of war game right now god of war 1 had some of the worst platforming and lacked one or two extra bosses god of war 2 for some people the puzzles were a lot and being unable to access all weapons without pausing haunts me and by the way god of war 2 is the closest to perfection in the whole series god of war chains of olympus the slowness and limit they reached because of the platform it was meant for and how short it was and not a lot of fun bosses god of war 3 my favorite my favorite game of all time and here are its flaws you cannot skip long ass three minutes to six minutes cutscenes and the game is filled with them i'm planning to speed run the game soon and every time i remember the cutscenes i just die from boredom but i will get to speed running it soon so don't worry that and no official new game plus wow for a game this combo heavy a game with this deep mechanic in combat you have to access new game plus via a glitch wowzers i just made a mess of my trousers god of war goes to sparta not a lot of fun bosses same issues god of war chains of olympus had you know for the it being slow and stuff because it was on psp god of war ascension bad pacing of the story bland story some bad rooms in combat some bad zoom outs some bad enemies that are not meant to be here and i love ascension it's just that it's just that it has some flaws you know no, no game is perfect god of War 4 oh boy long walkie talkie sections the game drags out for stupid inconveniences lack of enemy variety color-coded enemies rpg elements questionable enemy types shall i go on and i love all these games but they're absolutely not perfect they're all fun and great games but not at all perfect if you're saying every God of War game is good, then sure, you can spark that conversation. Every God of War game is great, but not and never will be perfect. Next by Ronda just saying, God of War Force platforming was the worst I've ever experienced. The fact that everything is automated and you don't have the freedom to jump whenever you want, but whenever the game prompts, just bothers me. It removes interaction with the game, which makes it slow. And I do have to agree here. The platforming got numbed down in here and it was a lot more fun in the games prior. A lot of freedom was given to the player back then. Not now, I guess. Next by Noel2580, God of War 4 has the best story. I really, really love the story of the originals. I even grew up on them. But the way that we got to know Kratos as a pretty chill dude compared to how he was in the originals was genius in my opinion. Okay, now I don't know how that's a hot take. Pretty sure 80% of the fan base thinks the same, but for me, I do not agree yet because this game was a setup for the next game god of war ragnarok and as of now we're left on a seldom cliffhanger of course i prefer the older game's story the whole Ares did that resulting in kratos doing this and the gods disagreeing resulting to him doing that and the gods interfering and kratos doing this and yeah so for now i can't say i love god of war 4 story more i still have to play ragnarok to see if i really like it more and now the final hot take by dominus god of war 2's pegasus flight section is better than God of War 3's Chain of Balance flight minigame section. And I do have to agree. Even though the Pegasus section does drag out, making it kinda pega sus. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Nah, no, seriously, I don't know what it is. It's not that it drags out. I don't know, but I do like it more than the flight sections in God of War 3. Even though those are pretty good, I slightly like Pegasus sections more. And now we reach the end of today's Let's Argue. Hope you guys didn't punch the screen or scream at me from afar because this is all subjective. You don't have to agree with my stupid opinion however make sure to leave your hot take in the comments down below make sure to keep them controversial make sure to keep them short and simple also make sure to subscribe if you still haven't and if you like god of war content this channel is made for that also the growth is crazy we're currently aiming for our next goal which is 10,000 subscribers and i can't wait to reach it this has been your extreme gamer zesty peace